ladies and gentlemen, the emergency that Fred Okengo Matiangi is going to be on the ballot let come 2027 presidential election is actually sending shockwaves across the entire Kenya Kwanza Alliance. And William Samuel Arapruto is in shock to get that message because Fred Okengo Matiangi is a man who is perceived that he is quite acceptable in the entire Republic of Kenya. And since that news has been confirmed that indeed Fred Okengo Matiangi is going to be on the presidential race let come 2027. This has made the Kenya Kwanzaa government to go back to its drawing board, uh, the drawing uh, board, so that to evaluate how it may be dealing politically with the emergency of Fred Okengo Matiangi. Because this man, who is very well perceived to be the person who can make William Samuel Arapruto to be a one-term president, Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our political conversation this morning. And thank you so much for always choosing Siboga TV to be your number one online political channel. The news that Fred Okengo Matiangi is going to be on the ballot 2027 is making the political class to be in shock because many people never thought that Fred Okengo Matiangi will eye for presidency let come 2027. And one of the newspaper in the Republic of Kenya that called Nation has actually came up with an article which actually points out that Fred Okengo Matiangi has actually started to assemble his team which will bring to reality his bid for presidency let come 2027. And in, the, in that article of the nation, it is being said that Fred Okengo Matiangi has actually hired a Canadian paste company so that it can campaign for Fred Okengo Matiangi so that it can be accepted by various governments, various political class in the Western world. And you know what that means? Because many politicians have not done that. And probably they say because Raila Molodinga never did it that to get acceptable by the Western countries. That is why William Samuel Arapruto defeated Raila 
Amolo Odinga. The former president, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, actually did that by actually having a company which actually advocated for him to be acceptable by the Western powers. And it is being said that Fred Okengomatiani has actually hired that Canadian based company by using 32 point something million Kenyan shillings. And many people are asking, is this Fred Okengomatiani who is doing this alone? And we have individuals who are actually ringing that to His Excellency, the former president, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. And many people say that Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta is in full support for Fred Okengomatiani. And that's why he might be the person who is behind the coming forward for Okengomatiani to run for presidency let come 2027 presidential election because many political analysts outside here they say that the former president want to revenge against William Samuel Arapruto by making him to be a one term president but now let us open our eyes and try to look what Fred Okengo Matiangi presidency will bring to the table late come 2027 presidential election. But before we do that, I could request you kindly to take a minute and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video thumbs up. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then it's good to tell to request them for us to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, share this video to as many friends as possible. Because that is the only way you can promote this channel. And whenever you subscribe to our YouTube channel, always remember to smash the bell button. Because by doing that, you give YouTube permission so that it can notify you. So that you can watch any political content that we upload into YouTube. And for those ones who have subscribed to our YouTube channel, I say thank you. May God bless you all abundantly because you always give us the inspiration to continue doing all this. Now, let us go back to our discussion. What Fred Okengomatiangi presidential bid brings to the table late come 2027. One of the things is that Fred Okengomatiangi, who was a super CS during the Uhuru era, is a person who is a performer and a person who is known to work for the people. And because of that character trait of Fred Okengomatiangi, he is a person who is perceived very well in the entire Republic of Kenya. And because of that factor, that is a shocking factor to the Kenya Kwanzaa government. It means that Fred Okengomatiani can actually be voted in 
for presidency from various regions of this republic because he is acceptable in the entire republic of Kenya. And that is why his race for presidency is actually shock, is actually bringing shock to entire Kenya Kwanzaa government. At the same same time, Fred Okengo Matiani, it is being said that the so-called Gen Z's, that is the man they want to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. And as you know, the Gen Z's generation has a very big percentage as people who are voters in the Republic of Kenya. Because if we look at the Gen Z's and the millennials, then you will find that they have around 70% of the entire voting bloc in the Republic of Kenya. And because the Gen Z's have identified Fred Okengo Matiani as the person they can vote for, let come 2027. That is why President William Samuel Arapruto is in shock because this is a man who is capable of sending William Samuel Arapruto back home and making him to be a one term president. That is the big shock which is going to come late come 2027. The only thing we can ask ourselves will be the Gen Z population be able to register massively so that they can vote and come out in a massive way so that they can vote for Fred Okengo Matiani? That is the big question. Because if that will be done, then Fred Okengo Matiani, for sure, he will be the person who can send William Samuel Arab Ruto. We also have a class of people who believe that Fred Okengo Matiani is going to be a presidential running mate for somebody because he is working with president, former president Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. He might be either the running mate of the deputy president Riga Thigashawa if he will be abandoned by William Samoe Arapruto because it is being said of late that Rigathi Gashawa is in talks with the former president Uhuru Bigai Kenyatta. And that means that if these two political individuals will come to an agreement then there is that agreement that Rigathi Gashawa can choose to be the president and Fred Okengo Matiani will be his learning mate. And then they can rob him for the person we call Stephen Kalonso Msioka so that Stephen Kalonso Msioka can be a super CS if these three individuals will take the presidency of this nation. And many people are asking, if 2027, we are going to have Fred Okengo Matiani 
eh, Stephen Kalonso Msioka and the deputy president Rigat Figashawa coming together, then this will deal a very big blow to President William Samoy Arapruto. Because by having that combination, it means now the forts from Mount Kenya will end up to be in one basket. That means Mount Kenya will bring around six to seven million forts together. And because of the factor of Fred Okengo Matiani, who is acceptable, Fred Okengo Matiani can actually consolidate the, the Gusi Nyanza Brock. That might bring around 1.5 million forts. And at the same same time, Stephen Kalonzo Msioka from the eastern part of the Kenya will also bring around 2 million forts. And if this group can get a pocket of forts from the entire republic, that means they will be able to send William Samoy Arapruto on straight. What is your say about that news that Fred Okengomatiani will be on the presidential uh, ballot late come 2027? 20, Please drop your comment in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, I could request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then it's good to request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for those ones who have actually subscribed to our YouTube channel, I say thank you because you always inspire us to continue coming up with this kind of political analysis. And lastly, whenever you subscribe to our YouTube channel, always remember to smash the bell button because by doing that, you give YouTube a leeway to notify you so that you can watch our content once we upload it into YouTube. And with that, I am very sure that you will help us to make our YouTube grow. And for that, I say thank you so much and may God bless you all abundantly until we meet in our next political conversation. Goodbye.